What's up, family? This is your girl, Mary Lee. Don't forget to put the dash between the Mary and the Lee. Today is April the 4th, the day that Martin Luther King supposed to have died back in 1968. I'm in Chicago. Right here is a laboratory school. It used to be Hyde Park Hospital. I know because right across the street is the Museum of Science and Industry and on the other side of that is uh, Lake Michigan. And I remember trying to swim in Lake Michigan with my ex-girlfriend, the Italian Stallion, Donna Marie Evans. And the water was so filthy that I came here to Hyde Park Hospital this is no longer Hyde Park Hospital. This is a laboratory, okay? Now, right down the street, I used to stay in those buildings right there. Right there. And, and I remember Donna Marie Evans having me sit outside of my own apartment complex crying. Like I was a puppy dog or something waiting on her. You understand what I'm saying? You see, all this is my stuff. Now, if it wasn't, they would have never changed this. Because I also came here when they made me homeless back in 1995 or whatever and stuff. After I gave my story to Oprah Winfrey in the streets of Chicago. And I remember smoking a cigarette on my deathbed here at the hospital. This is now, like I said, is a laboratory school. It's called Earl Shapiro Hall or some stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? What is they experimenting on? That's the question. You understand what I'm saying? Other than my people. Now, when they want to, they build stuff real, real fast. But when it comes down to cleaning up the ghetto, it takes them forever. I wonder why. A lot of AA money went into this. My money. I also used to uh, sell general merchandise, pushing a cart, selling umbrellas in this neighborhood and picking up cans, you know, doing things to show people that you can make a way out of no way if you try. But uh, some people still don't believe. So uh, that's why I'm in good hands with all state. For real, for real. Just in case my so-called family and friends let me down but yeah they built this real fast to get rid of the uh the evidence <laughs> i guess that's what you want to call it pertaining to me mary lee aka mary mac real toe now how do i come from real nice places to end up homeless and you know in the ghetto and you know in a now what used to be a, a sober environment building where i reside at now becoming a um, you know a drug building I left today and the spirit hit my ass and I felt it and I went down the stairs and it was a skinny ass guy in the hallway I said I felt your spirit before I seen you meaning them drugs is definitely resonating in my place of residence and like I said it used to be a sober building when I moved in May 31st of 2017 and I signed contracts if that's what you want to call it saying that it was a sober environment but of course they only wanted to use me to get their little bull crap started again you know so therefore I'm gonna need my money when they do kick me out and that's why they never gave me a, a, a lease they got me on a month to month you understand what I'm saying just have my money ready when you put me out because I can easily sue for a uh, breach of contract, if that's what you want to call it. All right, with that, this is your news reporter, ghetto news reporter, Mary Lee. Don't forget to put that between the Mary and the Lee, and the same with the Mary and the Mac. Ah, real Mary Mac and Mara, step your game up. They moving fast, and they don't give up. Uh, <laughs>